If I asked you to guess how many amputation surgeries are done in the United States each year, what would you guess? Would you believe 185,000? 185,000 amputations each year with more than 2 million living with limb loss. Chances are you will encounter someone who has or is facing the journey of limb loss. This isn't even the most shocking statistic. First, we are going to dive into causes of limb loss. Three main causes of limb loss. Cancer is about 2%. Trauma is about 45%. And be sure to remember this last one, vascular disease is accounting for a little over half of limb loss. But the most shocking statistic, 58% are never referred to a prosthetist for initial consult. So out of all the people undergoing an amputation, over half are never even seen by a prosthetist. And we're not talking about cost or insurance barriers. We're just talking about an initial visit, which there's generally no cost for. We bill insurance when the device is completed and delivered. So what barriers are preventing people with amputations from even getting an initial consult? So in this recently published article, they talked about some of the barriers preventing people even getting an initial consult. So there are five main barriers. Those include being female, being a smoker, being diabetic, being over the age of 70, and having an ASA fitness score of four or five. And that just refers to basically other comorbidities. So congestive heart failure, renal disease, other factors negatively impacting their health. So looking at these factors, I was curious. I was curious how many of my personal patients fall into these categories. And so I looked at some of my recent patients, and this is just taking my last 30, 37 patients and just looking at some of these characteristics. And I'm not trying to make any speculations out of this. I'm just looking at my own sphere, how my patients have presented, you know, depending on where you are geographically and other different factors. Your patient population may look a little different than mine. But for my specific patient population, at least recently, there have been more males than females, fair amount of smokers. Almost all of my patients have been diabetic. There's seven out of the last 37 that have not been diabetic. Looking at the age, all these blue boxes are all my patients that are 70 years or older. And looking at the comorbidities, if they have any heart issues, if they have any serious respiratory issues, if they have kidney disease or renal failure. And then this last icon is if they have, you know, PVD or anything that would severely negatively impact their circulation. And as you can see, most of my patients have at least two or more of these, let's go back here, these five characteristics that the study found were some of the main barriers preventing people with amputations ever getting an initial consult. So why does this matter? I stress this all the time with the physical therapist that I work at. Every single person that undergoes an amputation surgery should get a consult with a prosthetist, whether they think they're a candidate or not. Not everybody is gonna be a candidate, but they should at least get that initial consult because even if they're not a candidate, we can at least, you know, give them exercises, stretching, things that they can do to give them the best quality of life possible. Not everyone is going to be a prosthetic candidate, but most often than not, people with limb loss can benefit from a prosthesis. And for those who do utilize the prosthesis, Good news. Recent research has shown that prosthetic rehabilitation positively impacts several things. You got quality of life, mobility, satisfaction, and even reduction in overall healthcare costs up to $100,000. The main thing I want to stress is patient advocacy. We have a little over half of the people with limb loss not even getting the opportunity for prosthetic care. So how do we change that? Let me know your thoughts. That is all I got for you today. So go ahead and create some rays. Go make someone's day a little bit better. And I will see you guys next time.